going to be the biggest party of the year. That's right, the biggest free party at Windsor Castle in the celebration of the coronation of King Charles III. But seemingly, megastars have decided to decline. As ever, why? What I'm is this, we're all very much looking forward to the coronation of King Charles III on May the 6th. But over on May the 7th, that's when the real party begins. A very spectacular and free ticketed concert for so many people to attend. To see, hopefully, the mega stars of the day that will go down in history as performing at the coronation of King Charles III. Now, the story goes that the requests were put out to all the leading stars right now who are currently shining bright, including superstars like Ed Sheeran and, over in Las Vegas, Adele. But seemingly, they decided to decline. What's the true story? Well, the true story is this, that so far, nobody's actually been committed or indeed formally invited. This is a positive spin by the PR machines, particularly of Adele, who's currently in Las Vegas doing a rather rocky residency. So far for Adele, even though she had to cancel those concerts last year, the latest concerts are not a sellout, so a much needed injection of free publicity. The other side of the coin is simply this, that Ed Sheeran is incredibly busy on his mathematics world tour. So it would be very difficult for him to pull out, but nonetheless, by throwing his name into the ring, it ensures, of course, that he gets some much needed publicity for those few remaining tickets left. But truly, who does King Charles want to appear at his coronation concert? Truly, the younger end of this is really for the young people to be part of an historical event, something they can look back on in maybe 50, 60 years time and say, I was there. Now, of course, we can look forward to a dash of mega musicals, particularly from the likes of Andrew Lloyd Webber with Phantom of the Opera, Abba Mamma Mia, but also we're looking at some Greek chanting music, Greek Odyssey, which is going to be specially composed by the Phantom of the Opera Man himself. Now, bosses, though, are looking towards more favourite people who have been in recognition during King Charles's very short reign, but more importantly, the long reign of Queen Elizabeth II. So superstars like Sir Cliff Richard, Dame Shirley Bassey, the original Goldfinger herself, and more importantly, up-to-date divas like Catherine Jenkins, the opera star that's now ubiquitous at any major royal event. Naturally, opera will feature on the bill also. But now the bigger problem for King Charles is this. How can he possibly make his concert really appealing to the younger end of the market? As we saw with last year's Platinum Jubilee concert, top of the bill was none other than the Motown legend Diana Ross. She received mixed favourable reviews. But what they're truly looking for is someone who, according to a very good source, Prince William and Princess Catherine, the Princess of Wales, would very much like to see perform none other than the US megastar Taylor Swift. Now, Taylor's already had a stint at singing with Prince William at a charity event. And fingers crossed, after a message personally put out by the Prince and Princess of Wales, will Taylor swiftly say yes to appearing at King Charles III's Coronation Special Concert. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.